Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about two web parts called the News Headlines and the News List. They are very, very similar, so I'll talk about them in the same video. Let's start with News Headlines. As you see, you get these links that are from Microsoft, and then you can add news. So as you see, there are not many options in this. There are no settings at all, actually. So the only thing that you have is the ability to add news. And there's another Add button up there, and then there's the See All, which just takes you to the home page. So let's save and close this and see how we can work with it. As you see, you get the four the most recent here, and then other ones there. So until you've filled it up with items, you're going to get these Microsoft provided ones. So let's zoom out a bit um, so we can see the whole thing. There we go. So that's it. You see this see all thing and just open that in a new tab. It just brings you to the home ASPX page. So um, that doesn't really show much. So if I'm adding new news, you see I get a new page of new page model. So I'll call that news one. I'm just going to add a, an image of that so we can recognize it. So let's do uh, the button right there. So, and then let's publish that. And now you see that got added as the latest news item. So if I add another one, news two, and let's add an image to that one too. Let's do this one, Aaron. Publish that. You see the news two got pushed to the latest one and news one got, got published up there. So rather nice way of publishing news items. No granular control over how everything looks, but it works. And if you're happy with that, then that's good. Let's try the other type of news web part that we had here. I'm gonna add that and just do the news list. And as you see, that's doing most of the same thing but in another format. So let's just publish this now. You see all the news items are published with the latest ones at the top. And let's go ahead and edit this one. So let's go in and news two and edit that one and we'll see how that works. It's of course under site pages, the news two. Well, we're gonna edit that and add some text here underneath. Let's see how that's handled. So let's use Word for that, so I don't have to type a lot of mumbo jumbo. Instead, I will get Word to do that for me. Like that. There we go, got some example text, and I'll copy that into my browser. Copy that in there. There we go, now I have some text. I'll publish that, go back to the home page where I'm showing this, and as you see, it's showing the image, the heading, and the first few lines of the text. So that's a rather nice way to display your news, in my opinion. So that concludes my demo on using the news web parts in the new page model. Thank you for watching.